Oh, old school rivalry right here. <laughs> What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Mr. Duga, coming at y'all with another episode of Drop It Dines with Mr. Duga. <laughs> and today I'm going to preview and predict Sunday night's matchup as you have the Dallas Cowboys taking on the Pittsburgh Steelers. Um, before I get into this video, man, for anyone, if you want to donate to the channel, follow me on social media. Also, I co-host a sports talk radio show every Sunday. All that information will be down in the description box. If you're a subscriber to the channel, greatly, greatly appreciate the love and support. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Uh, make sure y'all hit that subscribe button and bell notification button. And everybody like the video and share it with your folks, yo. To all you Dallas Cowboy fans, I want to let y'all know something sincerely from the bottom of my heart, yo. I don't like y'all. I can't stand y'all. And, um, it's an interesting matchup. I hope Pittsburgh knock y'all all upside y'all each Sunday night. Um, but first, looking at the rivals, man, looking at the Dallas Cowboys, they come in with a 2-2 two and two record. Um, you know, they go to Cleveland, beat up on a bad, a Browns team with a bad quarterback in Deshaun Watson. And like I told y'all after that game, he's bad. And he's been bad ever since. Now, I get it. He could probably look good against the Eagles next week. But right now, he bad. You know, um, then they go home, get mildly whopped by the New Orleans Saints, who the Eagles beat. And also get mildly whopped, but made a valiant comeback effort against the Baltimore Ravens. And then it's just a complete dud of a football game. Escaped the New York Giants on Thursday. Um, Dak hasn't been great. He hasn't been terrible, but he hasn't been great. The running game, for the most part, has been non-existent. C.D. Lamb is still at dude. C.D. Lamb is still legit. I do like they tied in Ferguson a lot. Um, and defensively, they've been getting shredded by rushing attacks, but they did really, really good against the New York Giants running the game last game because Saquon Barkley paid for us now. <laughs> He's not with the Giants no more. Um, and then you look at the Pittsburgh Steelers, man. They come in with a 3-1 and one record. They just lost their first game against Indianapolis last week. Before that, um, you know, went to Atlanta, got it done against the Falcons. Um, you know, it then had a, um, you know, had a win at home against the Los Angeles Chargers. I think that was the third game. And uh, the second game, uh, I forget who they, oh, they went to Denver and beat the Denver Broncos. Um, so they cut, then they lost to the Colts last week and Joe Flacco of all people and the Colts. So they come in with a three and one record. Um, Justin Fields had a good statistical game in his last matchup. Um, before that, he hasn't really done nothing great, but they've been winning. You know what I'm saying? Um, and mostly, you know, Josh Pickers, I think is a really, really good solid receiver and fair move at tight end. Uh, the running game been okay, but defensively, man, they get after you. Uh, except for last week, you know, that pass rush with T.J. White. Um, they got Patrick Queen over there, linebacker, former LSU Tiger. And a really good secondary, you know, with, um, with Fitzpatrick and Joey Porter Jr., you know, and all of them, man. Um, keys to this matchup, man, for the Dallas Cowboys, they got to they gotta protect Dak. You know, they got to protect Dak. C.D. Lamb could get some things going, but they got to protect Dak, man. Pittsburgh coming with a pass rush. And for Pittsburgh, get after Dak, force some third and longs and some turnovers, you know, with with, um, with that crowd that Sunday night. <sighs> Which means to my prediction, man. This is actually a tough game to pick, man. I've been going a little back and forth with this game. But I'm going to say this, yo. Um... Dallas ain't going to have Neil O'Donnell out there throwing two gimme interceptions to Larry Brown. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? How Dallas, when they won their last Super Bowl, when Neil O'Donnell went out there and, and just got colorblind and thought Larry Brown had a black jersey on and threw two touches, threw, uh, threw two interceptions to him. I don't think Justin Fields do that. Um, but that being said, I think Pittsburgh wins this game, man. Um, I think they're going to play really well defensively and they're going to do just enough offense to get a big home win at home against the Dallas Cowboys. Yo. Um, but with that being said, man, that's all I got for y'all today. Appreciate y'all checking out the video. 
hit the like button for your boy. Give me a subscribe, man. Have Philadelphia Eagles, NFL, and content of my other teams throughout the year. Y'all have a blessed one. Fly Eagles, fly.